Well, it is time to take this thing apart. I like to have two manuals, a climber and then an official Honda shop manual, so I can cross-reference them. Gotta take off a nut, but it's on a spinning shaft. What do you do? Take a rag, stuff the rag in between the gears, and it will jam up. And it is a perfectly good solution that will hold the gears while you impact that nut off. And also, impact wrenches are a great thing and work a lot better than a normal wrench. Another quick one. I will oftentimes zip tie a sequence of um, shafts, spacers, washers, nuts in the order that they come off if I have a question next time about whether the washer was under the gear, or over the gear, however it works. Getting this apart, I think it took about 40 minutes of tapping and a blowtorch. So, yeah, yeah, this song is appropriate. Along the bottom edge, and then just do that with this gold that would be in the ovals and a really fine you know, 16 to stripe. This pipe, there's a hole in it too. Really? Yeah. But, I don't know if it's connected to this one right here. Yeah. I hope, I hope not. <laughs> All right, let's uh, take a look at what we have. Um, high output coil, high RPM ignition, angled intake for an oversized carb, high output oil pump, gaskets, lightweight, high output, alternator, heavy duty clutch and basket, aluminum kickstart, and in here the real goods. Uh, the head, oversized valves, 145 cc uh, cylinder, short skirt piston. And look at that crankshaft. Oh my goodness, beautiful. <laughs> So it's a pretty Steady big intake head. for a small head. It is. For a small engine. Uh huh. It's about eight hundred pounds. Probably. I think stock might be three quarter, but it's a hundred cc. This is a hundred fifty cc. It's going to be used for a flat track. Yeah, it's pretty much wide open. Okay. Then I'd say go to like maybe seven eighths ID to inch max, and then step it. Right. center to center. You can try to do this, but you really are shooting in the dark there. Take your calipers, measure one hole, zero, then measure outside to outside. That is your measurement. Well, it moved a little, but 55. And so now we have a perfect center to center to make the bracket for the coils here. Just remember to go back and zero your caliper. Small project, coil mount, but accurate center to center measurements. And there you go. And the best part, captured fasteners. Just welding a couple of nuts to your bracket and you don't have to fumble around with anything when you bolt this guy in. So just a nice little slick detail. 